All right, today I wore my Foles shirt and my Boss Mare hat because it's time to wean the babies. Dun, dun, dun. So we're gonna start with Mr. Finn because he and his mama are in the stall that we use to wean. Now, last year we had five babies. So we weaned with like the earliest babies first and then a few weeks later we did the latter babies and that worked really well. But this year we only have three. So we're gonna wean them all together in this one stall so they're not having to go through this traumatic event by themselves. Now there's a lot of methods to weaning. Everyone kind of has their own take on it, their own experiences with it. I think it has a lot to do with like your location, um, the, the, your access to a barn, your access to how you can separate mom and baby. So I think a lot of people have a lot of different ideas about it. We do cold turkey. We separate all the babies together. We take the mamas to a separate part of the barn where they cannot see each other, they can hear each other, but that has been what has worked for us for over 20 years now before I was ever doing it. And it just seems to be the best, most efficient way where they're upset for a little bit, but then they get over it and then we're all good. So we're gonna start with these two and I, I think that he's gonna be the most dramatic. He's the one that's the little mama's boy because of Beyonce's injury they were never out with the other babies. And so this is gonna be his introduction to them as well as the first time being separate from his mama. So before we go do that though, I'm gonna to go to each baby and give them ulcer guard, which is gonna like help prevent ulcers in this stressful time. So for the next couple of days, we will be giving them ulcer meds just, just to be sure, because we don't wanna start tummy troubles. That's never a good thing. have a huge bag of it in here somewhere okay now Beyonce already gets ulcer meds so she doesn't need anything extra but I will probably give some to the other two mamas because they're not on ulcer medication are you gonna behave or he's gonna make me put a halter on him I just know it the other two when I worm them anything they just let me like pop it in but Phineas is not, not that way. Where's your halter, Bubba? Come here. Hi, darling. That was mighty nice of you. Now, Finn is known as like the dramatic one of the season, and I think it's mainly because he's such a mama's boy. Hi, darling. There we go. Yum, yum. This so yummy. Get that all in there. That was less dramatic than I thought it was gonna be. Thank you for making that easy. Real quick. Just a little disclaimer for those that are gonna be like, uh, Finn has a hernia. We know he has an umbilical hernia. Sometimes that happens if the umbilical cord detaches incorrectly or abruptly at birth. And he did have a little bit of like a five second traumatic instance at birth because when he came out, he was like, he had fluid coming out of his mouth and his nose. And so we had to pick him up and like drain him. So that probably is what happened. It's not genetic, it's not anything crazy. It's pretty easy to fix. So when we take him in to be gilded in, I don't know, a month, we're gonna get that fixed as well. Oh my gosh, Winston. Get that itch, buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bo's been having some ear issues. So we got him a fly mask to help protect his ears from all the bugs and whatnot. It looked like that's what was happening, but all right, buddy. We need you to do your job and be a, a comforting essence. So when we wean like one baby, cause when we had Stevie in 2020, we only had one baby. So she was weaned with Bo. So we would put her outside. <laughs> Camera guy running into posts. Um, we would put her outside with him every day. So through like her weanling year, and yearling year, she went outside with Bo. Gerardo just went in there, he's grabbing Beyonce, and he's about to walk her out. Mm. 
bow's just gonna be a comforting presence, hopefully, to Mr. Finn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got her, I got her. Let me walk her back in. He's already being dramatic. There we go. Thank you. Beyonce does not care. She is like the chillest of all mares. She has not whinnied. She is not trying to stay back here. She is not trying to turn around. She is, she is on her way to freedom. So we usually like leave them a few minutes before we bring the next baby, just to like let them chill out hopefully. It's okay. Now the reason we did it today, which is September 5th, is because usually there's like two days every month that the farmer's almanac says it's the best day to wean. And I honestly have no clue how they know, but we've been doing it my entire life. And generally, it's so much more smooth sailing when we do it by the farmer's almanac. So today was one of the days that it was supposed to be chill. We've done it in the past where we were like, oh, it doesn't work with our schedule. We're not gonna do farmer's almanac. And the babies like came through the stall windows and were like going nuts. And you know, right now he's whinnying. He's pacing. That's not as bad as, as he could be right now. So I'm not too, too worried about it. I think, I think he's gonna get over it when he has friends. Look at him just standing there. He knows what he's doing. He knows he's needed. What a good boy. Are you gonna let me just do it? I feel like he's just gonna let me do it. Hey, baby. You like this? And that's, when you do stuff with your babies from day one, that's how they take ulcer medicine. All right, Miss, Miss Gracie, you need some too. You need some too. There you go. Just a little support for their gut. Make sure they don't get a little belly hurt. I don't think he's gonna be bad at all. Uh -huh. So you want me to? You take Gracie, Gracie and, just and then just keep going, going and bring her back here. Now, she's never had a baby, so I don't know how she's gonna act. Now, the reason we're doing this is because imagine me trying to separate him and lead him without his mama. He's gonna be upset. But he's used to leading, so he's gonna be pretty chill, I'd say. I don't know if you've been down here. You, got, you get to meet your brother. So Finn, is also Beyonce's baby. P Petey is Beyonce's baby. Gracie is his recent mama. So these is, this is also two brothers meeting for the first time, which is kind of funny. Hi, Mr. Finn. Get in there. Shit. Go in there, Petey. Shoot, that was my foot. Go in there, baby. I was saying, you want to do the butt rope? The butt, yeah. Now, Gracie seems okay. Um, I gave her ulcer guard just in case, but she's never had a baby weaned. So we're gonna have to just wait and see how she reacts. She doesn't seem to react in too crazy right now. Oh, brothers are meeting. So I wanted to let these two meet first. They're brothers, they're the two boys. Penelope, I just already know, is gonna come in here and whip some booties. Um, so I wanted to give them some time to have their little mama's boy moments together, and then we'll add Penelope. I honestly thought Petey would be a little more chill, but I mean, boys are boys. I don't know why, but colts are always so much harder to wean than fillies, in my opinion. You have a buddy, Finn. It's your brother, you have the same mama. Look at them. They're like, okay, where's my mama, but also who dis? Also, who is this person? Mr. 
Mr. Bo's just waiting here on standby. Neither one of them are paying attention to him. But, oh Lord, did you slip? I have yet to hear a mama holler, which is pretty good. We're gonna continue to let these brothers calm down. They're, they're kind of circling each other like sharks right now. Um, and then we're gonna add Penelope after this and then just watch them very carefully for the rest of today. They will not be going outside and then we'll kind of make our decisions from there, seeing how they behave. He's like, I'm a baby. I just a baby. Please be nice to me, Mr. Bobo. <coughs> Are you okay? So they're actually not being terrible. I mean, there's whinnying, you know, they're kind of pacing around. They go through little moments where they're okay. I'm gonna put some hay in there. They've got some hay actually. We won't give them grain for a couple of days just you know, in case that their bellies are upset. But I think these boys are ready for Penelope to enter the mix. So let's do the last one. Penelope! I'm gonna give them some ulcer guard. Come here, babies. Hi, you have hay all over your, your hay head. All right, they both got their ulcer guard. She seems fine. I'll lead mama this time, that's probably just easier. Hi, darling, you got hay all over your face. She'll be right back. Now, Penelope's gigantic, and she's also the sass queen and the boss, so I'm thinking she might beat up the two boys a little bit, but maybe they need that. The booty rope was necessary with Petey, but she's so big. Go on in there, Princess P. And there goes Trudy. Again, doesn't seem to be bothered one bit. And like I said, Penelope did get to hang out with her mama a little bit longer than normal. She's seven months old. Look how much bigger she is. <laughs> She's huge. Penelope, have you met Finn? Petey. Oh, are you gonna teach these boys a lesson? I feel like if Phineas were to learn from anyone, it's gonna be Penelope. Why does she look like a full grown horse in here with these babies? Penelope, you big girl. <laughs> all right, I mean, they're kind of winning and they're kind of getting to know each other, but they've been in there for all of like, <coughs> excuse me, sir. Oh, did Finn kick you? I didn't see what happened. Finn, are you gonna need to have a lesson taught to you by Miss Penelope? As I thought might happen, um, Penelope has been the chillest. The other two are still kind of fretting and she's just kind of sauntering around. So we left the foals to kind of chill out. We will not be putting the mamas out tonight. We won't be putting them out for a couple of days. So we'll do a whole separate video for them going outside for the first time together. But in the meantime, before we go check on them again, um, we're putting in the gates here for our new two pastures. And um, I say we're putting in the gates, we're putting in one gate and then we're gonna put panels where the gates should be going because I messed up and I ordered 12 footers instead of 14 footers. So we're making it do for right now so that we can bring Poppy and Petunia over to my house. They're gonna go with the goats because I have a couple of new critters coming and like, the next two weeks. And I think y'all will be really excited to see what it is. So they will be going in these pastures as well. And uh, yeah, the mini zoo is just flourishing. So let's get this done and go get Poppy and Petunia. You know it's gotta be exact and it ends up being that short.
Let's get these little potatoes on legs. So this is Beyonce's new stall. I think she'll like it in there, it's big. Oh, they're laying down. Girlies, you're gonna come home with me. I'm gonna try not to spook them. I'm sorry, girls, false alarm. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, Petunia. Petunia. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Petunia. She's laying down. How, how long are you going to pee for? Is it gonna stop? Ever? <laughs> well, darling. Come on. Come on. You're halfway there. Come on, there we go. <laughs> okay. Come on, cooking with bacon grease now. I'm hoping they're good girls and just hop up on the trailer like normal. They're not into helping right now. I know it's uphill, come on. Poppy, Poppy Elizabeth. Are you pooping? Oh, just pooping. Come on, babies. I can't remember if they did it at the same time last time. Good girl. Come on, Petunia. Good girl. All right. They're professionals. Was that not just right up yeah. on in there? Look at that little, look at those little faces. Squirrely girlies, come here. Well, that was graceful, Miss Petunia. There we go. All right. I can hear the donkeys. You heathens. All right, go on. All right, you two, you have a job to do. You need to eat some of this grass down so that our donkey friends don't kill themselves on it. Oh my, I hear the goaties screaming and I see a couple down here. I might as well go let them in. Stop screaming and come down here. Listen to him scream. Well, stop screaming. Blossom, stop screaming and head on this way, darling. Buttercup, she's just gonna mosey. Oh, that's, I can't believe I just call her. Buttercup, that's Bubbles. Y'all can fillet me in the comments. All right, darlings, you've never been out here before. Oh, they've already found the good stuff. They are standing at the gate. Come on. Come on. Bubbles, you're allowed to come out this way. Come on. Did you just, oh, she just half fainted. Well, darling, I'm sorry, I made you half faint. I'm sorry. She's gonna be dumb and she's gonna get trapped in. Okay, there you go. Looky there, girls. Look how big this is. Now that there's actual animals in it, it looks so much bigger than it does when it's empty. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at what a little dream. Look at them. Oh, I don't know what got her 
excited. She just ran from something. There's literally no hot wire. Now, you guys are not going to be allowed to be out here 24-7 because you're going to get way too bloated on this good grass. Now, I do plan to plant one tree, like a big oak tree. Well, not big. It's got to grow to be big. But plant one oak tree per pasture for some shade, and we are going to do a little three-sided run-in shed um, for inclement weather, you know. Got the zoomies. <laughs> no, which is why they're going in the goat thing for most of the time until we get it. They're doing the run-in, and then we're going to plant two trees. I would do a, like oh. a little patio on the front. Okay, I, I've got to go. For some reason, they are being like little spitfires. i got to video this. Oh, my gosh. Show us how fast you are. Oh, they're in a race. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? <laughs> are they going to chase the goats? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, they're so fast. They're running. They like this little racetrack right here. Poppy, you're so fast. You're so agile. So the partial reason we had to move Poppy and Petunia is because we needed their stall for Beyonce because we have six mamas that are going to need foaling stalls. We only have seven foaling stalls. And because Beyonce isn't having a baby this year, but she is up inside a lot more than the other mares. So she needs a big stall um, so that she has some room to walk around before she goes out in her paddock every day. So she gets Poppy and Petunia's stall. I don't think she looks very bothered. Um, to me, that does not look like a mare that just had her baby taken away from her and is real worried about it. I think she's pretty okay. The only one that's making a bit of noise is Gracie, and I kind of figured that because this is her first baby ever, so this is the first time she's ever been through this. Trudy's over there crunching on some hay. So we're just going to keep an eye on the mamas as well. Weaning, you know, everyone focuses on the babies, but you have to pay attention to these mamas as well, making sure they're not fretting too much, making sure they don't get ulcers, making sure they don't get mastitis. So from the sudden lack of nursing that they don't get a milk buildup and mastitis and infection and all that good stuff. So over the course of the next few days, we are not going to be feeding them grain. We are going to be watching them, exercising them, and possibly hand expressing them a couple of times just to give them a little bit of relief. But that was a really, really successful weaning in my opinion. So we will be doing a video on the foals going out for the first time. Let's go do one last little checkup on them and I'll see y'all later.